Okay, for those of you that think I've been doing nothing, uh, but sitting on my, my buns and twirling my thumbs, here's the willies. I want you to see this. This is the doors in place. Both doors, by the way, are done. Let me uh, open this up. All right. One thing you'll notice is I'm in the process of putting the dash in. We're doing a little experiment and seeing how we can fit it. And um, I'm going to show you some of the things where we did to help to attach this. As you can see, the doors are on. We're doing it using a modified hinge post that I made. Okay. They close real solid. Okay. I had to trim the doors along the edges. Okay. May or may not need to do that. I did it on this one. Let me show you how this door closes. Okay. Alright. Closes with the same tight saw. Now, don't worry about some of these gaps because what we're going to do is before it leaves here, we're going to go in and you know, we're going to refinish this door edges and, you know, get all the gaps nice and tight, making sure that everything fits. Especially hood, this, right there. We're going we're gonna to adjust the, uh, the, uh, the tilt nose a little bit, make sure that all works. Now, I'm sure you'll notice, or you did notice, my little design here. Okay, what this is, is this is my way of communicating with my my uh, assistant how I want this dash put on. What we have under here, attached to the fiberglass, is we have a tab on the, the body and a tab on the dashboard with a bolt that goes through it, and of course we put a nut on there. That allows the dash to be hung relatively simply, okay, without any visible means of support. If I may borrow a term from the old days. I'm going to actually raise it up a little bit. We're going to put a finish molding on here, and I'm going to trim this, I'm going to trim this down right along here. Okay, raise it up. Trim the edge. We're going to fit this to there. Now, this right here, okay, if I can get a good shot of it. No. This right here is the window garnish for the windshield. I don't think I'll be using it. Instead, I'm going to set this thing up the way we normally set up the 34s. Meaning we fill the we fill the gap right here, so that the upholstery can be glued to it. I will use a rear window garnish, but I'm not going to use the, that particular garnish. Okay. Um, you can see another shot of the hinge post. That hole right there that you see, that hole right there, is uh, from where the original hinge post was designed to go to. Uh, I'm happy with these hinges, or these hinge posts, they work much better. And uh, I'm going to try to get them incorporated into the kit. Again, there's the door closing. This side actually came out better, I don't know why. Maybe because this side was the second side that I did. It always seems like, no matter what, how many times I do this, or how many, you know, I always come up with the better side on the second one.